Hey, what's up guys? My name is Isaiah Shazi, and before I get into my aesthetics today, um, I'm just going to give you a nice quick update. So, first things first, we will be launching our CoForge uh, thing either Friday or sometimes after Friday. It'll be it'll be coming up soon, but that's just going to be Child Pam making a map, and he's going to go into every little detail with you on what he does and why he does it, and it's going to be a flood map most likely. And uh, every day after the first episode, he's going to have a like, co-forger with him, hopefully a different one every day. But that'll be really fun to film. Also, we did just get partnered. I don't know if you noticed our background. It says Infinity Foraging, which is a mix between uh, the mate, well, us, I, Sinzel, uh, Blitz Bros, and Community Forgers. And that's a really cool thing. And it's going to be a new channel we're starting. That's going to launch on Friday as well. So I'll leave a link in the description. Make sure you guys go subscribe to that. It's going to be really awesome. And I will get into my aesthetics now. Okay, so here we are on the map. Uh, this one is on Gravelous. And Gravelous can either take you up walls. Maybe as those, as these three I have here imply. Or they can also just shoot you across the map. Like the traditional grab lift. So the starting one here is relatively cheap and easy. And it will be used in probably Slayer maps. And it's basically just one uh, block. And I will not be counting the grab lifts towards the overall budget. Since they're all equal 100. And that's a lot of money. So just keep that in mind. It's plus 100 the budget. And basically this is just a strut on a 5 degree incline I believe. And that's just going to make it that nice ramp there right up to the grab lift. This next one is going to be a bunker box, which is kind of a weird piece, but that one's just going to come up just like this, and I'm pretty sure that's just on a 90 degree, not really sure, but that, I just morphed in that to the ground, and then I took this Y cross here for the sides to, you know, cap off the sides, and I just lowered that into the ground to about where that line is, and then I just do the same thing on the other side, and you know, you can adjust that grab lift however you want, and that works really good. Now this next one's probably my favorite one out of these up ones. This one will shoot you right up in the air across the wall. So it starts off with this landing pad going 45 degrees. You just turn it like that, get that into the ground, just ju just like that. Uh, that about that height, that works. Then do another one, make that face the other way, 45 degrees again. Then you're going to take an antenna satellite. And now this is why it needs to be up to a wall because of those back two things that are back there. So just be conscious of that. And morph those into the ground just so it covers up the black side there on the uh, landing pad. And that looks very nice and it'll just shoot you straight up. Now this next one is probably my favorite out of these, even though my last one was my favorite, I don't care. This one is very cool and it was done on Reach a lot with this vent looking thing and it's just a bunker round. That's all it is really for the main part of it. And you just take that and you morph that in the ground like that. And the top part there looks like a vent and that looks really cool. Then for the side, I just added this nice little landing pad thing here. And that just is like a 90 degree up and up and down. And then this teleporter frame. You don't really need that, I just put that right on top of the bunker round to finish that off. And I also put three grab loops there to make it look more like a vent and make it look a little more realistic and functional. Now this next one is very simple, since the grab loops in this game just look very good I think. I just took it and put it 90 degrees facing upwards. And then for this little lip thing at the end here is just an antenna satellite. And it's just up at a 90 degrees just like that. And I just morphed that in the ground so that little flat part in the middle there is gone. And then that just adds like a little lip and it kind of matches that back one there, as you can see. And that looks really nice too. So there you go guys, I have been Isaiah Shade from the Halo 4G. Make sure you subscribe, I'll see you guys next time.